أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه Our praise is due to Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. I beseech his mercies and blessings upon this noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and those who tread his path till the day of reckoning. I mean, inshallah, we shall continue from where we stopped yesterday. We were trying to lay emphasis on the verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said regarding those who utter heal statements in surah to an nur verse 26 Allah says al khabithatu lil khabithi the heal statements like evil words comes come from the evil people like the men that are evil they speak that which is evil وَالْخَبِيثُونَ لِلْخَبِيثَاتِ The evil men, they speak heel statements. وَالطَّيِّبَاتُ لِلْطَّيِّبِينَ The good statements come from the good men. وَالطَّيِّبُونَ لِلْطَّيِّبَاتِ And if you see good men, they always speak that which is good. So, in other way, the مُفَسِّرُون they also give another meaning to al-tayyibat and uh, al-khabithat. Al-khabithat, they give, they give another meaning as regards to marriage. They said good women. We eventually marry good men. And good men, we marry good uh, women as well. So on this note, uh, because the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hands it with ula'ika مُبَرَّؤُونَ مِمَّا يَقُولُونَ These are the people that Allah saved, Allah protected from what they were saying. لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَ وَرِزْقٌ كَرِيمٌ Indeed, for them is the forgiveness of Allah and Allah's bounties. Now, what we want to say here is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reviewed some verses in relation to some of the statements that we heard at during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as regards our, our mother Aisha radiyallahu anha. And uh, inshallah, we are it's, a, it's a long seerah as reported by Imam al-Bukhari. We are going to start with, uh, with the explanation gradually one after the other. Uh, this hadith can be found in Sahih al-Bukhari and uh, it is situated at uh, hadith number 4141. For those who may want to check this hadith, Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 4141. What happened? Al-Imam al-Bukhari was narrating in his book as usual. He said, Haddathana Abdul Aziz ibn Abdullah. Abdul Aziz, Abdul Hadith spoke to Ross, the son of uh, Abdullah. Haddathana Ibrahim ibn Sa'ad. Like that, Ibrahim ibn Sa'ad spoke to Ross. And Salih, he took the statement from Salih. And Ibn Shihab, Salih took it from Ibn Shihab, the son of Shihab. قال, and that Salih Ibn Shihab said, حدثني عروة Ibn Zubayr. He said, Urwa spoke to me, the son of Zubayr. وسعيد Ibn Al-Musayyab. Sa'id Ibn Al-Musayyab also. وعلقمة Ibn Waqqas. And Alqamah, the son of Waqqas. وعبيدullah Ibn Abdullah Ibn Utba Ibn Mas'ud. And Aisha. All of them like that, like that. And they took it from our mother. Aisha radiyallahu anha. One of the reasons why the number of hadiths in Sahih al-Bukhari is not as much as other sunan is because uh, al-Imam al-Bukhari was focusing on the authenticity of the hadith. So the, the, the hadith that we can find in Sahih al-Bukhari like in total without repetition, there are no more than 4,000 4, hadiths. If we are not counting those, uh, those hadiths that repeat. But in some other sunnah, you may be seeing thousands of hadiths. Because uh, uh, Imam al-Bukhari restricted the hadith to authentic hadiths. Now, let's go back to the story of Aisha radiyallahu anha. And Aisha radiyallahu anha from our mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with that. Zawjin Nabi, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
hina qala laha ahlul ifk when the people of ifk if it is a hill statement like sl- uh, slander uh-huh. so ahlul ifk the people who started slander regarding our our mother aisha radiyallahu anha ma qalu when they said what they said wa kulluhum addathani al imam al bukhari was saying all of them they spoke to me ta'ifatan min hadithiha a particular piece like piece wise they spoke to me a particular group of the hadith of our mother regarding ifk wa ba'dhum he said what i noticed regarding those people i took the hadith from was that some of them kana aw'a li hadithiha min ba'd some of them memorized the incident like they have the incident stored in their brain more than others wa athbata lahu ikhtisasan and some of them they could reveal the incident like the story they could reveal it very well than others that is what i observed wa qad wa'aytu an kulli rajulin minhum al hadith imam al bukhari now said and i memorized as well i studied as well from each of them what they told me alladhi haddathani an aisha what each of them told me regarding our mother aisha radiyallahu anha wa ba'd hadithihim some of the from some of their statements you know he took the statement from different people he said some of them you saw the kubada they were testifying to others like if you the uh, al ustaz uh, abdul qudus tells me something and i ask uh, al ustaz abdul malik and what is what he says is not that is not that they are using the same words is not that they are saying the same exact but exactly the same thing but the end point of the story is actually the same so he said all of them what i took from all of them you saw the kubaduha ba'd each of them is testifying the others wa in kana ba'dhum awha awa alahu min that even if some of them could memorize the incident than the other but at the end what they were telling me actually they have to be the same no difference then he started call they said call it aisha our mother aisha radiyallahu anha said كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا أراد سفرا أقرع بين أزواجه. said if the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم wanted to travel, he would he would uh, make lots. lots is uh, maybe the way they do in uh, let me use this maybe Champions League when uh, uh, after uh, the uh, group stage is it after is it group stage they want to qualify to quarter final the what they pick in football. a ballot a uh, hair like a lot so this lot any any of the wives that it picks that that will be the wife that will follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to the battle to the battle ground so that is one of the adat of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he said she said aisha radiyallahu anha said fa ayyuhunna kharaja sahamha any one of the wives that this uh, bal uh, this lot pigs kharaja biha rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ma'hu the prophet would take her to where wherever he was going qalat aisha our mother said fa aqra'a bainana fi ghazwatin ghazaha fa kharaja fiha sahmi then when he did this lot then it it fell on me it was me that this lot fell on that day fa kharajtu ma'a rasulillah said and I, i went with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba'da ma unzila al hijab after the revelation of covering uh, veiling like covering the face the palms after the, the prophet had the revelation that was this incident so the incident occurred after the revelation of veiling فكنت it was our mother that was saying this all the time he said she said فكنت اخمل في اودجي he said i was carried on my on my auda is what they call auda auda is that thing that they, they carry on the top of camel like a, it's like a small ox that is built anybody that will, that will be inside will place it on the camel he said i was carried i was in the auda so i was carried في اودجي in my in my auda wa unzalu fihi and i was placed on the top of the camel fasirna he said we were going hatta iza faragha rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam min ghazwatihi tilk until the prophet finished the battle tilka waqafal and he returned 
Danauna min al Medina. He said we were close to Medina. Kafilin. We were returning. We were close to Medina. Then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam adan laylatan al Rahim. He announced that the departure time has arrived. Fakum tuhina hada nub al Rahim. The our mother Aisha radiyallahu anha. He said announced to them when they announced the departure time. فَمَا شَيْتُ حَتَّى جَاوَسْتُ الْجَيْشِ He said, I, I was, she was uh, pressed that time. And he said, I, I, I moved until I, I left the, the place where the, the army, yeah. uh, the soldiers, where they were. I left that place because I wanted to ease myself. She said, فَلَمَّا قَضَيْتُ شَأْنِي When I... Uh, answer the call of the call of nature. Akbaltu ila rohli. I went back to my camel. Falamas to sodili. Then I touched my chest. For he the art don't leave in this is the farin coding copper. And I noticed that the the chain, the necklace that I was putting on, this necklace was made from Yemenite beads. The Yemenite beads is like a touch of white and black. So that is a uh, I mean, just in the fair, I said, when I touched my chest, I could not find this necklace anymore. I said, I, I, I returned to where I was coming from to search for the missed necklace. As I was searching for it, you know, when you are searching for something, you may not know that time is passing by. said, the search took my time and... Um, I was still searching. Call it. وَأَقْبَلَ الرَّعْتُ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا يُرَحِلُونِ Then those people that were, you know, she was carried on a camel. So those people that carried him or carried her on the camel, they said they now went to the camel. فَاحْتَمَلُوا هَوْدَجِ They took my awda. You know, she was in the awda. They took the awda. فَرَحَلُوهُ عَلَى بَعِيرِ And they placed it on top of my camel. الذي كنت أركب عليه the camel that I used to to ride or to to climb وهم يحسبون أني في what happened they thought she was there you know ordinarily they they were not even expected to be looked to be asking questions are you there are you not there where are you not to so once they got there they they even felt she was there so and they took the outer and they placed it on top of the of the camel وكان النساء our mother Aisha was now explaining said that time the ladies of that time, women of that time, they were light in weight. They were not that weighty. They were not fat. They were not women that were very fat. Meat uh, uh, does not cover their body as women of today. Because then they usually ate something that is light. They didn't eat much food. They usually ate something that is light. Yeah, yeah. And no pizza, no nothing, nothing, no shawama. Inama yahkul nel ulqa min al tuam, very light food. Falam yastankir al qomu kifa kifa al hauda jina rofauhu wa hamalu. So they never even thought that I was not there when they carried the the hauda and placed it on top of the camel. It, it was just like the way they carried her when they wanted to place her at the first time. So they never knew. وَكُنْتُ جَارِيَةً حَدِيثَةَ السِّنِ said, And I was a very small girl, very young of age. You know, uh, the Prophet married her at the age of, uh, I think, six years. And uh, she, uh, the Prophet, uh, you know, had uh, intercourse with her, I think, at the age of nine, nine years of age. So she was very young. She was, she was very young. He said, she said, فَبَعَثُوا الْجَمَلْ فَسَارُوا And they took the, the camel and they were going. And eventually, I found my necklace when they have moved. Subhanallah. I came to where they were before I, I went for the search. And I couldn't find anybody I could call, nor anybody that could respond to my call. Subhanallah. Said, and I went to the place I was, uh, I was before I went for the call of nature and I went, before I went for the search of my necklace. And I was thinking that they would miss me and they would come back. 
You know, they, why, did, why they, didn't, they didn't miss her was because they felt she was in that order. If they, they knew that nobody was there, of course, definitely they would, uh, they was, they would uh, be looking for her. But they never knew. فَبَيْنَا أَنَا جَالِسَ فِي مَنْزِلِي While I was in that place I, I was before, sitting, غَلَبَتْنِ عَيْنِي فَنِمْتُ I, I was feeling dizzy and I slept off. فَكَانَ صَفْوَانِ This is where the problem began. So we will stop around here, inshallah. فَكَانَ صَفْوَانِ ibn al-Mu'attal al-Sulami Safwan ibn al-Mu'attal May Allah be pleased with him. He was the one who ثُمَّ الذَّكْوَانِ After that, after uh, Safwan ibn al-Mu'attal then Zakwani مِنْ وَرَاءِ الْجَيْشِ Zakwani was behind the army, the soldiers. Both of them فَأَصْبَعَ عِنْدِي مَنْزِلِي فَرَأَ صَوَادَ إِنْسَانٍ نَائِمٍ So, Safwan, he saw that someone like, something like a person was sitting in that uh, particular small uh, hut. I was, how I was then. فَعَرَفَنِي إِنَ رَآنِ Then, when she was sleeping, she uncovered her face, you know, at the beginning, it said, she said the, uh, the revelation regarding veiling has arrived then. But when she was sleeping, she uncovered her face. And it was that time uh, Safwan Ibn Mu'attal saw her. When he saw her, he knew her immediately. Because he has seen me before the veiling. First, he caused to be sterjahi. Then I woke up. When he saw her, like it was Aisha the Allah, and he knew that all the all the hand they've gone. He said, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. You know, that's what they usually say said. They used to say when they saw something that is astonishing to them. Instead of yay, ah, uh, what is it? No, they will say inna lillah wa inna ilayhi. When, when, when he saw Aisha, only her, inna lillah. It was this sound. The statement inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun that our mother Aisha radiallahu anha had that made her to quickly stand up. So fakumar to waji said I, I covered immediately my face bi jilbabi with my jilbab. Wallahi and our mother Aisha radiallahu anha said Wallahi I, I swore by Allah ma takallamna bi kalimatin. We didn't say anything. I didn't chat with him. ولا سمعت منه كلمة and I didn't hear any word from him غير استرجاعه except the إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون. إن شاء الله we shall stop here to this morning and we shall continue from here. It's a long uh, narration and uh, by the time we we finish the uh, the narration we will see that there are a lot of lessons that we can learn from here that even the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the the wife Aisha radiallahu anha, the father of uh, of uh, Aisha radiallahu anha, Abu Bakr radiallahu an, all of them they were in that state of you know <laughs> how, how how can we hear that the wife because what they were thinking is that Aisha had some you know ulterior motives or even affairs with uh, Sofwan who helped her after the the departure of all the army. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless the Sahaba and grant them al-Jannah. And uh, we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also reward us on our good deeds and count us among the successful on the surface of the earth and on the day of Qiyamah. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik. Ashadu la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اللهم رحمتك أرجو فلا تكلني إلى نفسي طرفة عين وأصلح لي شأني كله لا إله إلا أنت